Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss about computing probability corresponding to a given random variable. So first, kailangan natin mapamilyarize sa mga inequality symbol na gagamitin natin. Kasi mamaya, sa mga problem na ibibigay, meron tayong ma-encounter ng mga word na hindi natin uh, madalas no, nababasa. So, ang madalas natin nakikita kapag inequality symbol, ang nababasa natin less than, greater than, less than or equal, or greater than or equal. So, mamaya sa mga problem na ipropresent ko, may mga gagamitin tayong word phrases na kung saan i-represent natin in this symbol. Okay? So, kapag na-encounter natin yung word na fewer than or fewer than or below, so, ang gagamitin nating symbol ay less than. So, ibig sabihin nun less than. Kapag more than, more than or above, so, ang gagamitin nating symbol ay greater than. Pag nabasa naman natin yung at most, no more than. So, ang gagamitin nating symbol ay less than or equal. Kapag nabasa nyo yung at least, no less than. So, greater than or equal naman yung gagamitin. At of course, kapag not equal to, so ito yung symbol na gagamitin natin. Okay, so kailangan mapamilyarize kayo sa symbol na gagamitin natin kasi mamaya yung mga problem ay ang uh, sasagutin natin yung probability based on the symbol kasi may si uh, based on symbol lang yung given. And then isipin niyo kung greater ba than ba siya less than or kasi ang bibigay kadalasan itong nandito. Okay? Okay, for example number 1, the following data Show the probabilities for the number of cars sold in a given day at a car dealer's store. So, here's the number of cars, okay, represented as capital letter X. So, this is the random variable X and the corresponding uh, probability. So, ito yung corresponding probability ng number of cars. So, for, for letter A, we're going to find the probability of the number of cars less than or equal to 2. So, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, dapat ma-familiarize kayo sa mga symbol. Okay, so ito, ibig sabihin na ito ay less than or equal to 2. So, kung titingnan natin yung table natin, yung first column natin at second column, so, ang titingnan muna natin yung sa first column natin. So, saan ba yung 2? Okay, ito yung 2. Since less than or equal, so, ibig sabihin kasama si 2. So, less than, pababa. Okay? So, mula kay 2, pababa, 1, and 0. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung kinukuha natin. Ang gagawin lang natin, kunin natin yung corresponding probability nung 2, ni 1, at ni 0. So, ibig sabihin, add lang natin yung corresponding probability nung 0, 1, at ni 2. Okay, substitute lang natin, which is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.15 or plus 0 0.25. Okay, so add lang natin and then the answer is 0 0.5. So, ibig sabihin, uh, the probability of x that is less than or equal to 2 is 0 0.5. Okay, another example. How about if your x is greater than or equal to 2? So, what is the corresponding probability of your x if that is greater than or equal to 7. So again, tingin muna tayo sa first column. So saan yung 7 natin? So ito yung 7. Since yung symbol dito ay greater than or equal, so ibig sabihin kasama si 7. At dahil greater than, so pataas. Okay? 8, 9, and 10. So ang gagawin natin, Okay, so 7, 8, 9, 10, ang gagawin lang, add din lang natin yung corresponding probability nung 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, ano ba yung corresponding probability nila? That is 0 0.05 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.025 plus 0 0.015. So, add lang natin and the answer is... 0 0.130. So, ibig sabihin class, uh, the probability of x 
greater than or equal to 7 is 0 0.130. Okay, another. Uh, how about if your x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 5? So again, how about if your, if your x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 5? So, hanapin muna natin sa first column yung 1 since kasama si 1 kasi may equal, okay? Ganon din si 5 kasama si 5. So, ito yung 1 natin, ito yung 5 natin. So, x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 5. So, ibig sabihin simula dito papunta kay 5. Okay? So, ganon din ang gagawin. So, add lang natin yung corresponding probability ng 1. 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? And that is 0 0.15 or 150, 0 0.250 plus 0 0.140 plus 0 0.090 plus 0 0.080. Okay? And then the sum is 0 0.710. So, ibig sabihin, uh, the probability of your x which is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 5 is 0 0.710. Okay, another example. In a conv uh, convenience store, the number of tellers or represented as capital letter X busy with customers at 12 noon varies from day to day. So the past records indicate that the probability distribution of X is as follows. Okay, so here's the given. So, the first column is the number of tellers represented by capital letter X. And the second column is the corresponding probability. Okay, first, what is the probability that exactly four tellers are busy at 12 noon? So, exactly four. So, ang paano natin kukunin yan? So, ibig sabihin, your x is equal to 4. So, hanapin natin dito sa first column natin, yung 4. So, ito yung 4. So, since exactly 4 tellers, so what is the prob uh, probability niyan? That is, so yung corresponding. So, the answer is 0 0.212. Okay, again, the probability that exactly 4 tellers are busy at 12 noon is 0 0.212. Next, what is the probability that at least 2 tellers are busy at 12 noon? At least class yung word. So, kanina binanggit ko yan sa first uh, slide natin. Yung at least, anong symbol ang gagamitin natin? That is... Greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so ibig sabihin that is greater than or equal to 2. So, nandito yung 2 natin, so pataas. So, ang gawin natin, substitute lang natin yung corresponding probability ng 2, ni 3, 4, 5, and 6, and then get the sum. So, that is 0 0.078 plus 0 0.155 plus 0 0.212 plus 0 0.262 and plus 0 0.215 and the answer is 0 0.922 next so what is the probability that fewer than so kanina binanggit ko rin yan fewer than 5 tellers are busy at 12 noon so pag fewer than anong symbol ang gagamitin natin that is less than. Okay, walang kasamang equal ha. Kapag fewer than, less than. So, ibig sabihin, hindi kasama si 5. So, kung ito yung 5 natin, hindi siya kasama. Yung mas mababa sa kanya. So, ano lang yung kasama? So, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, again, hindi kasama si 5. Kasi yung word na fewer than, that is less than. So, walang equal. So, therefore, substitute lang natin yung corresponding probability ni 0, ni 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, that is 0 0.029 plus 0 0.049 plus 0 0.078 plus 0 0.155 plus 0 0.155 and plus 0 0.212. And get the sum. The answer is 0 0.523. Okay, ang... Ano ko lang sa inyo, class, be careful no sa so, gagamitin nating symbol. So, dapat 
ma-identify nyo yung mga word places na uh, i-ano natin para alam natin kung anong symbol na gagamitin nyo. Okay, another, what is the probability that at least two, okay, but fewer than five tellers, okay, so tingnan nyo ha, at least two, so meron dalawang condition, at least two, so kapag may at least, may equal yan, so kasama si two, at least two, but fewer than, so kanina yung fewer than, na-represent natin as less than five tellers, so Tingnan natin, at least 2, so ibig sabihin pataas yan, no? at least 2. So, greater than or equal to 2 ang ibig sabihin ng at least 2. Pero, mas mababa daw sa 5. So, ano lang ang mga kasama? So, pag nirepresent natin ganito, so x is greater than or equal to 2 but less than 5. So, ano lang yung kasama? Okay, yung, num yung 2 yung 3 sa kasi 4 kasi hindi kasama si 5 kasi ang sabi nga dito but fewer than 5 tellers so therefore hindi kasama si 5 so ang kukunin lang natin yung corresponding probability ni 2 ni 3 and 4 okay then substitute that is 0 0.078 plus 0 0.155 plus 0 0.212 and then the sum is 0 0.445 Okay, another example. What is the probability that at least no tellers are busy at 12 noon? Pag sinabi nating no tellers are busy at 12 noon, ibig sabihin zero. Okay? Okay, kung at least no tellers are busy at 12 noon, and then at least yung word, ibig sabihin kasama yung zero, pataas. So, therefore, Kasama si 0 hanggang kay 6. So, gagawin natin, add lang natin yung corresponding probability nung 0 up to 6. So, substitute lang natin. And then, add. Add nyo lang class. The answer is 1. Di ba? Naalala nyo na isa sa mga property no, ng discrete random variable is uh, the sum of all uh, probabilities, no? is equal to 1. Okay? Another example. I think this is the last example na. So, let x the value of the random variable represented by the number of boxes of leche puto. Okay? Puto, the, uh, the probability distribution is shown below. Okay? So, so the, uh, the first column is the number of boxes, which is x. Okay, and the corresponding probability. So, first question. Okay, find the probability that 40 or more boxes will be sold in a particular day. So, anong word natin dito? That 40 or more boxes. Okay, so 40 or more. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Kasama si 40. So, paano natin represent into symbol? That is greater than or equal to 40. So, dito sa first column, tingnan natin yung 40. So, kasama si 40, 42, 45, and 50. And then, substitute lang natin yung corresponding probability nila. So, the answer will be, okay, 1 over 10 plus 1 fifth plus 3 over 10 plus 1 over 10. So, kung wala kayong scientific calculator, pag in nyo to, gawin nyo muna tong ano, anong tawag nito? Yung mag-equal siya dito sa 1 fifth. Okay? So, para pareha sila ng denominator na 10. So, gagawin yung 2 fifth to. Okay? Equivalent fraction at ang tawag dun. So, gawin yung equivalent, fra equivalent fraction pa same sila. So, ang equivalent fraction ni 1 fifth is 2 over 10. Okay, so kapag same na ng mga denominator, so add lang natin yung nasa taas, yung numerator natin, that is 7 over 10. Or you can use your calculator. So 7 over 10 or that is 0 0.7. Okay, another question. Okay, find the probability that the number of boxes delivered will be at least 37 but not more than 50. So parang kagad kanina, no? 
Dito naman, but not more than 50. Okay, so paano yung symbol? So, but not more than 50. So, ibig sabihin si 50 kasama. So, mula 37. So, ito hanggang kay 50. Okay, so add lang natin yung corresponding probability mula kay 37 up to 50. And that is 1 fifth plus 1 over 10 plus 1 fifth plus 3 over 10. Okay, so I think, ah, okay, less than, o nga pala, class, not more than 50. So, dapat may ano pa to. Wait, ayusin lang natin yung solution natin. Okay, so again, class, so dapat pag not more than, kasama pa rin si 50. So, dinagdag natin yung uh, corresponding probability ng 50, and that is 1 over 10. So, again, Uh, add lang natin to and then get the sum so that answer is 9 over 10 or that is 0.9. So ulitin lang natin kapag sinabing uh, but uh, not more than 50 included pa rin si 50. So ibig sabihin that is less than or equal. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.